Sweet dreams. The Gunslinger style is one of Dante's styles in Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry 4, and Devil May Cry 5. It emphasizes mastery of different guns and maximization of their technique. Gunslinger can be seen as a counterpart to the Swordmaster style, specializing in firearms exclusively, giving a more dynamic use of them like covering a large area, shooting multiple enemies at once, adding a powered-up version on normal moves, etc. In Devil May Cry 3, by using shot cancelling and, more specifically, combining normal shot with the style technique, Gunslinger style can give up the most damage per second, also filling up the style gauge quickly. Gunslinger on its own won't get you through levels smoothly, but with the rest of your moveset, it becomes a great buffer for combos, almost more so than Swordmaster style. Just like how the guns in Devil May Cry games are super weak because they are there as combo filler, Gunslinger moves are weak, but an extension of the gun's abilities. The charged shots from Ebony and Ivory and the shotgun rip enemies to pieces, and the shotgun shreds the Hell Vanguard on even Dante must die difficulty. Ebony and Ivory's twosome time is excellent for crowd control, and the charged shots do a heck of a lot of damage in general, but it isn't graceful to charge it up over and over. So it works best in conjunction with ordinary sword attacks and juggles and free ride. You also get great mid-air combo mobility from Rainstorm, and to a lesser extent shotgun's fireworks. The shotgun is a powerhouse if you can manage charged shots well. And Gunstinger is great to move into an enemy's face quickly, doing knockback damage. Jump-canceled shotgun shots are much easier to pull off than normal just-cancel attacks, and the jump arc they give afterwards is almost perfect to jump from enemy to enemy, with also a chance to stun. Artemis is much more powerful than it appears. Its combo ability, crowd control, possible damage dealt, stun possibility, and style raising is nothing short of excellent. Near useless without Gunslinger, but the way Multilock works almost makes it overpowered with the amount of stun and stagger the attack can do, and it is great for mid-air combos since it juggles enemies. If you are doing Gunslinger, get ready to get used to this weapon. Spear I like to think of as a great melee attack, funnily enough. This move stuns even DT'd enemies 9 out of 10 times. Absolutely make use of it. Acid Rain is a great crowd control move, and also deals a lot of damage. Like, a lot. The main drawback of the weapon is how awkward the attacks are to plan in the middle of combat, since they leave you exposed before their value comes out. But, if you can manage to execute them, you nearly become untouchable in a crowd fight. Spiral and Kalina and probably gain the least usefulness from Gunslinger, since they are pretty overpowered anyway. They also have zero aerial moves and lack ground maneuverability during attacks. The two work as great crowd control weapons because of the high stun values they have, Kalina and especially has special stun values compared to all other weapons in the game, so they become invaluable against DT'd enemies. The Gunslinger moves they acquire are mostly extensions of what they normally do, especially with Spiral, but the Ricochet moves it does are great for style and combos when dealing with either one enemy or a crowd of them. Kalina and only really gets two moves, and is the only weapon in the game without crazy combos, Hysteric, which is great at dealing with crowds as it knocks back immediately and the grapple. Which is really nice when any of your knockback moves push an enemy too far, and you want to gracefully continue comboing. I like using this after the jump Dante does from free ride that pushes you away from the enemy. It's a great gap closer when I don't have devil arms that can shoot me forwards with. Stinger-like moves.